Not long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest as we make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Hello listeners, it is I, Dennis, the world's most okay STM, and I wanted to give a special shout out and thank you to Drew from the Tales to Terrify podcast for the intro that you just listened to. Drew is a huge supporter of Botched and myself, along with other members of his team, uh, Meredith and Seth are the other two that I, I mostly have my dealings with, and they are just the nicest, kindest people who are super supportive. Uh, Drew's not only a patron of Botched, but they also back each of my Kickstarters, and I couldn't be more thankful for the support that they provide, and I just did a read for their show, another read for their show. I love doing reads for their podcast. Now, if you're not familiar, Tales to Terrify podcast is a horror story podcast, so they have different types of stories in each episode. Sometimes they are newly written stories by people who submit them. Sometimes they are real-life sort of ghost stories where... For instance, one of my favorites is they give the history of the jack-o'-lantern, or there was a ghost diner in one of the episodes, and there was like a ghost bridge where they like killed a pedophile or something like that. Like they have all kinds of crazy ghost stories from like real life tellings. And then they also have older ghost stories, uh, like the one that I did for this most recent episode. That's episode 574, if you're listening to this episode, uh, you know, in the future. This was, I think the story was from like 1905, and so I, I did the read for that story. It was a lot of fun. It's a, it's, it's a ghost story. So definitely go and check that out. Definitely go and support them wherever you can. They have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Tales to Terrify. You also have Tales to Terrify.com. And then, of course, go on to iTunes or Spotify or wherever and give them a five-star review because they deserve it. Like I said, they are always so supportive of what we do over here at Botched and what I do personally in my own endeavors with the Lycan Solomon's Odyssey a series. So please, please, please go and give the Tales to Terrify podcast a listen because their content is fantastic and support them however you can. All right, back to the show. Previously on... Botched. Kerplunk. And also (laughs) Crunch. (laughs) Ow! Welcome back, listeners, to the 22nd episode of our seventh season. We are going to start right where we left off last time, as Ned has had his hand severed, I believe. Severed? Yeah, it's, it was torn all the way off. You're also uh, unconscious. I'm going to need a death save Isn't from he in the water? That's a good yeah, he's in the, the water. Summerists. Everybody but one, Bessie Mae's in the water. One in the positive, my dude. Would he have disadvantage since, like, he's in the oh, water? Fuck you. Yeah, because I'm breathing I am water. also <clears throat> uh, pulling them to shore. Uh, so there's not really a shore. It's a rock, fall, a rock wall. <laughs> it's just sort of <laughs> just a straight down rock. Um, Is there a flat place? I mean, it had to be at least. There are there are little rocks jutting out of the water, but there's not like a shore. If there's not a shore, oh, I'm on a rock. Yeah. Okay. So you slow fell, right? How correct? How many functional limbs do I have? All of them, I believe. Yeah, you know. Oh, I'm going to go help. In fact, you have a luck point because you tried your hardest last time, even though you I, failed. I write that <laughs> oh. down. Inspiration. I click the button. Is that the um, first time Dennis has given out an inspiration point? Yes. Maybe. Oh. I think it is. Six years. I can't <laughs> help but think something horrible is going to happen to me um, <laughs> I know. as a consolation prize <laughs> to Steve. <laughs> Now um, I'm gonna go in the water and help pull people in. Now, are you also gathering the pieces of Callum, or are you just letting those float? Why? Out? <laughs> I don't know. He can't make us armor now. Well, you could find somebody to resurrect him. Yeah, possibly. Maybe you could resurrect I put his head in my pants. <laughs> it's like my Mobier. pocket, not in my, not in the front of my pants. Wow. Everybody, calm down. Don't you? Oh, I guess we're in prison. I, I, I tie it to my belt like Mimir in God of War. It's great. Oh. But Steve made it better. It's true. It's true. <laughs> like Mimir in Norse mythology. Shut in God up. of War. 
He speaks with a Scottish accent now. Mm -hmm. All right. His so name's Callum. It makes sense. Okay. So you're all pulling yourselves over to the... McCallum. No, I'm pulling other people. Okay. But it's fun. Yeah, sure. So, so you're all on the rocks. Ned is currently unconscious. Missing a hand. I'm going to medicine I, him. Okay. I, I assist. Fuck you guys. Do you have medicine, best man? Yes, I am proficient. Uh, oh. I've got a plus one in medicine. That's, that doesn't mean you're proficient in medicine. I've, Ned is a nature man. I've got nature. I didn't say nature. <laughs> What'd you get? I said it. Really? 19. Yeah. So Ned is back to zero and fine. Oh, well, not except fine. For, I mean, except, the, except for the hand. For the hand <laughs> which hand? Which hand? Uh, if I recall correctly, it's your right hand. Thank God I'm left-handed. We never, we never, we never, uh... Hi, low. What? It's his character. He gets to choose. He's just picking it now. You don't know that. Hi. Yeah, you're left-handed. Let's go. 52. <laughs> Very lucky. Stacks of green seaweed in Ned's right hand. <clears throat> Where is his right hand? Just floating on the water. I'm gonna fish it over. Seaweed. Okay. Fish. You're gonna fish Uber it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You get it. No problem whatsoever. I'm gonna tuck it in my pocket. So, the the sky is still pretty nefarious way up, and it's still like very rumbly. Well, you know, rocks are falling down, but not like big ones or anything like that. What happened to little Donnie and the other guy? <clears throat> little yeah. Donnie, you don't see little Donnie. You have no idea where little Donnie went. You saw him kerplunk into the water, but you. You don't see Too Donnie much chaos. There. Too much chaos. What, what sound did it make when he kerplunked? Was it like a bloop? Bloop. Um, Raymond is still alive. Uh, Raymond also makes it over to the rock where you guys are. He's just like, oh my god, that's hand. Well, I mean, we could reinfuse it in the future, right? Should we get it on milk? What now? I mean, should we put it on milk? So, like, it stays good? Do you have something to put it in? I got my pocket. I don't think milk's going to stay in your pocket based on all the water that's falling out of you right now. You're right. I don't know why we're worried about it. We know he has a hand in the future. It's probably just going to grow back. Oh, well, that's true. Sure. Perception check. It's a 12. Okay. Uh, 20. Dirty. Okay. Also dirty. Okay. Oh, can I slap dead awake or is there not enough time? I mean, you can slap him if you want. I'm going to slap him. <laughs> He's not going to notice, but... You know. Oh, it's this one's for me. Sure. Non-lethal. So, just going to give him a little slap across the face. Okay, you smack him. It's not like he wakes up. I don't want to. Do you need another death he save? Just, or? No, because <laughs> he said non-lethal. Um, he was careful to word it that way, I know. So, heck and Besame... You notice that out into the water, about a hundred-ish feet or so, there's a little teeny tiny whirlpool. And I mean small, like the size of like a basketball Ooh. size whirlpool. And you also notice bubbles coming up. Maybe That's a weird natural phenomenon. Yeah. I feel I'm like we should probably it, really. try to get out of here. But also, if you look to your left and to your right, it looks like this rock wall coast, quote unquote, not a coast, but coast, just keeps going until the continent curves, basically. This is bullshit. <laughs> if only we had some sort of grappling hook hand. Hmm, that's true. <laughs> I got a hand. We can t <laughs> <laughs> wait, to, wait for rigor mortis to set in yeah. and attach a rope to it. <laughs> I'll, I'll have it gripping a baseball and then I'll rubber band it. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> They're indestructible. It's it's like they're metal. Yeah, and I can. Oh, I could dip it in brass. <laughs> you could dip it in brass. brass. Yes. So yeah, that's what you guys see, and that's the situation that you're in currently. All right. So they like bandage my hand shut when they did medicine too, or? Sure. Okay. She sort of dunked it in the salt water, and that seemed to just fix it right up. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no more bleeding. You're you're not awake. It's fine. Yeah, it's you're fine. So, yeah. What are you doing? S uh, sagging unconsciously? Yeah, you, yeah. Can I find some of uh, Callum's entrails and uh, uh, you know, his, his, toss them in that whirlpool, see what happens? His innards seem to, st like, his, his um, basically all of his limbs flew off, but, like, his mm. torso's pretty much intact. So. Blood eagle! Well, I can rip a little piece off. I mean, there are pieces of him. Like, there's the arms, head, well, legs. Can I grab... 
Can I grab a piece? You said you fished him out. So I mean, I thought somebody yeah. did. So yeah. Okay, I grab a piece. Yeah, you can have an arm. And toss it in that whirlpool. See what happens. Sure. Um, roll me strength because it is kind of far. Eighteen. Yeah. You toss it. It actually lands very close to where the whirlpool is. Kerplunks plunks into the water. You see it on the top, and then it just sort of around the top, and then goes down. Where's it? Where's the torso? Uh, I'm gonna guess right around the rocks where it landed. All right, I'm gonna grab it. Okay. How much running space I got? It's a kickboard. <laughs> <laughs> you mean? How much running space I got? A couple feet, maybe like tops five feet. How far away is this whirlpool? A hundred feet. All right, I'm gonna pick it up with both hands. Okay. And uh, take a step back. Okay. Run forward. <laughs> okay. And hold the torso as I duck my head down and dive into the water with it. Okay. And then I'm gonna start kicking towards that war pool. Athletics? It's probably a portal. Well, like, I'm just saying, there's like, I, I ain't gonna walk all this way around. <laughs> like this has gotta be a drain. This is, yeah. this is a drain. Or Athletics? That's a. 21. Could be like in Link to the Past where it like teleports you to another. To Dark World? Yeah. Somewhere worse than this? <laughs> Maybe this is Dark World then. <clears throat> so, you. Uh, well, there's a sun. Huh. You jump into the water. You actually get a very nice leap and you get a lot of momentum and you are just coasting on out that way. Are you face down in the water right now? What do you mean? You said you just put your head down. Like, so I'm like diving with it. Okay, it's I didn't know if you were looking in the water or not. Yeah, I'll look in the water. Okay, roll perception. What's it look like? Hold on, how dark and deep is this water? <laughs> uh, it's actually not pretty 20. see through. Uh, so as you get closer to the whirlpool, you notice that uh, you can see that the whirlpool stretches down about at least 100 feet, okay. maybe even 200 feet. It's, it's pretty deep for being right off the edge of the, the continent like this. But you also can see there are a group of, uh, and the hole that's uh, caused the whirlpool is like perfectly circular. Um, as if something circular had punctured through it uh, somehow, some way. And you notice that there are a group of, they kind of look like skeletons, but they're covered in like coral and they're just moving rocks towards the hole. Okay. That's what you notice. They're moving very slowly. You know. Do I see the arm? Uh, it was just thrown out. Yeah, you see it going down the whirlpool and into the hole. Did the skeletons pay attention to it? No, it looks like they're just moving rocks towards the hole. It's like they're trying to cut off your escape route before you get there. I haven't decided that yet. <laughs> hey! 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 You! You With the rocks! You're outside the water. You don't even see anything right now, best man. Oh, I thought they were. I thought I could see them from where I am. I no. thought he was yelling to Willie. I thought he was yelling. I thought he was yelling to Willie too. I hit my head pretty hard. Yep. <laughs> I'm just kind of yelling at sure. anybody who'll listen. But Willie, within a, a couple of seconds, you're gonna hit that whirlpool. I want it. Yeah, let it take me. Okay. Ooh. So let you, it take me. you hit the whirlpool. So the rest of you guys, you see Willie float out to the whirlpool and then just. Oh, and my hand just comes up real quick and gives them all the middle finger, and then I go down. Yep. It's like it's like the Terminator, but, <laughs> but, no, yeah. but it's like the Terminator, but cooler. The cooler. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So yeah, you you head on down. Uh, should we'll, Willie leave or should we leave? Oh no, I mean, okay. Are you guys just? I don't know if you wanted to uh, hide knowledge of what happened or not. Not yet. Okay. Figure out what you guys were doing. Well, I'm limp and unconscious. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Sagging limply on a rock. Somebody could use him as a kickboard. Raymond uh, picks up. Now. He's he's been my ward for many years, so I uh, I feel responsible to make sure that he gets safely to wherever it is that we're going. What what do you guys want to do? Should we follow? I I don't see another option, but I don't trust it. Did the gnome say anything about? He didn't. He didn't really give you any instructions on what happens after the pipe part. You go into the ocean, and then he didn't say. I feel <laughs> like he's know. never been through this pipe. <laughs> I feel Ooh. like maybe he didn't even know what was going to happen. Man, if only I was conscious, <laughs> I could ask questions. <laughs> so, yeah. 
What are you guys doing? Heck and best man. Well, heck. How's your floating? Decent. Let's do it. Okay. Are you sure? It seems like it could also be a creature sent here to eat us. <laughs> Just leave Ned on the rock, <laughs> and then everyone <laughs> goes away. <laughs> I mean, there's literally nothing else to do. I mean, I'm kind of bored at this point. <laughs> right? Can Let's I roll go. a nature check to see if I think this is going to be a fucking animal that's going to eat us and we're going to die for real? Sure. Like an eel? You think it's an eel? I, I got a nat 20. So... Since you didn't see what Willie saw, um, as far as your knowledge of Whirlpool goes, uh, it could be a monster. It could also be a naturally occurring phenomenon. Um, or because you rolled a nat 20, it could even be, you know, possibly something like a, a cave that was uh, under the water had opened up. And now, like, the, the force of the water going through has created a Whirlpool. Those are your three options in your brain, anyways. Heck says, fuck it, and jumps in. Okay. Um, Raymond follows suit with Ned in tow. As a surfboard or, like, pulling me? Uh, pulling you. In, like, the rescue yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Backward swing. I got you, Ned. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> Hold your breath, <laughs> you're, fi- you're fine, buddy. You're fine. Uh, so you each swim out and plunk in there and you can see as you're swimming down you see these skeletons with these rocks the, these skeletons that are you barely see any bone at this point it's mostly coral growth that's on the skeletons and they're just lugging these rocks over towards the hole but you go you you go you do uh, go through the hole before they get there and you all of a sudden it opens up and it's not ocean anymore it's this big open cavern and you're falling and falling and falling and it's hundreds of feet and you oh. land in a pool of water. Just <laughs> land in a pool of Willie's blood. <laughs> uh, he is dead. And you, you notice pretty quickly after that that the, the water stops coming from above. So your guess is that uh, they Ooh. sealed up the, the hole. Also, there's a pipe jutting out of the, the bottom of this pool of water. So that's probably what caused the hole in the first place. I don't trust pipes. Oh, it's the same pipe. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, you guys are currently in a pool of water in a very dark cavern. Uh, question, voice and head. Yes. If we had just shot out of the pipe yes. without stopping ourselves, mm-hmm. is that about where we would have landed? Where this uh, hole was then created? Uh, the pipe? In the general vicinity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. God damn it. Good to know. I cast dark vision. I fucked that up. <laughs> Okay. It only cost him his hand. Uh, you have dar- so you can see in the dark. Can anybody else see in the dark? Uh, I believe yes. a dwarf can. Okay, that's right. Heck has uh, night vision. And Everybody so can elves. And Ned's unconscious. I'm a human. Uh, so oh, is that's right. You are so a human. Is, so is Raymond. So Raymond and I are both people. Yeah, he can't see anything. So the rest of you, you notice that this is a very very large cavern, uh, very very big, and there. It's uh, pretty much sandy as far as the ground goes. There are little tiny pools of water. But in front of you, a few hundred feet away, there is a gigantic skeleton of a creature that none of you have ever seen before, but it kind of looks like a turtle. And it looks like it's got a decaying, broken castle on its back. That's awesome. The turtle has six fins, or bones for six fins, it looks like, and a maw of teeth. So this thing was huge. Um, for those of you who are conscious, you are more than welcome to do a history check. Anybody want to give me, like, the uddies of life or something? Jesus Christ. Three. <laughs> um, I, my uddies are deflated right now, if you'll recall. Well, they're not deflated. They're just... I mean, do okay. I have milkies? Chunky. You can produce milkies. I, I I let them suckle a little bit. I can't. I'm I, get, I let them get, have a little suckle. <laughs> I can't suck him. Yeah, you're going to have to force feed him. Well, I, I, you know, I Just blow on my blow on my uddies a little bit to kind of stiffen them, and then I put them in, their, <laughs> in his mouth. And... All right. <laughs> And they just flop into my mouth because I'm unconscious. <laughs> sure. It's what, a D6 for healing for you? Yeah. Okay. And then a D4 of shame. <laughs> <laughs> for psychic damage. All of a sudden, 
Ned comes to with a kind of sour, burny, like a, <laughs> um, like a smoky, milky taste. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue <laughs> soup, barbecue milk? <laughs> he kind of. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Ned's awake, no hand, in the dark, can't see anything. Ah! Also in water. He's awake. <laughs> so Best of May's history roll sucked. How about Hacker Willie? Uh, no. Okay. 18. Heck, uh, you have heard uh, legends, um, myths, <laughs> of a turtles. creature that resembles uh, this one. It's called a, or it was called a Titana Turtle. It's like if a dragon turtle was on steroids, like a lot of steroids. It is With turtle huge. growth hormone? Uh, the myth goes, anyways, that back then kingdoms would literally be strapped to the back of these things, and they would ride around and just lay waste to seaside towns and stuff like that. And if you look at that castle, I mean, like I said, it is kind of decaying and decrept, but it's got cannons all over that thing. Um, it's a, a circular sort of uh, structure that's on the back of this turtle and there are looks like cannons every so often uh, in multiple layers and you can see that there are towers jutting up out of the middle of this as well and there are cannons sticking out of those too so this was probably at some point uh, at least tens of thousands of years ago because nothing like this has existed in thousands of years this was probably a pretty nasty war machine at some point so yeah, that's what you see. Hello, hello. It echoes a bit. Anybody there? Hi, Ned. Ah! <laughs> it's okay. Reach Raven's out. got you. I'm gonna reach out. You can't see either. I know, but I, I'm holding you in your mouth. I'm holding you, uh, Ned. Uh, I pulled you I've in been here. Inside you. I'm. Yes, Sensei. But I can't <laughs> see. I'm, Have you guys I'm, ever heard of a massive, massive turtle? I don't have to go right now. No, 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 Ned, no. No. <laughs> Just everyone hold hands. I'm going to tow us over to it. Uh, it's still, it's dead. It's dead. No. It's very... Well, <laughs> you can be at the end. Okay. Oh, no, I got that for you right here, bud. I don't... Mm, I can feel it. You can't see I it. I can feel but it. I'm but I'm stroking his face <laughs> gently. Oh, away. my God. Look. Does it feel weird that your own hand is touching your face? You're tickling me. Stop. Is, Ned, is this is weird? kind of good news if you think about it, because now you can stop trying to throw chickens into the fire and just throw your own hand in. What am I magical? Oh. hand. Am I magical? We're all magical, Ned. Then yes, let's do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Save it for later. Yeah. Um, can I put that in my... No, it's mine. Oh, well, you can see, so that's probably for the best. He did it. find it. It's fine. He's yeah. keeping. Mm. Sure. Uh, does does Bessie may have a tail? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab that. Okay. Ow. Tightly. Gentle. <laughs> okay. Um. So, as I said, th this cavern's pretty empty except for the giant fucking turtle castle. Um. There are small, little, tiny, puddly pools of water near where you currently are located. Uh. As you move closer to the turtle, you know that there. You notice that there is almost a um a ring-like moat around the turtle itself. Uh, looks like it's only about a foot deep, um, but there's a per almost perfectly circular moat that goes. So it's like a tournament. ditch. Yeah, <laughs> really, it teleports us back in time to when it was alive. And um, you can see from where you're located currently, those of you that have dark vision, anyways, you can see that uh, because the turtle is all skeletal, you can actually move through the skeleton and it looks like there's an entrance that you can go into like there's a wall crumbled or something like that so you could probably get into the, the building through the inside of the turtle mm. or you is, could climb is up is it the butthole are you making us go through the butthole no, is that what you're doing it's not in the back it's like right. in the middle right. you guys are facing like the back a, of the turtle you're facing the side of the turtle can I do like a uh, survival or maybe an insight check to uh, check for ambushes that <clears throat> um, yeah you can roll a survival check can I do a religion check to see if there's any sort of, like, prayer or anything that you would have to say before entering into this cosmic elder being? Uh, because I don't want to, you know, go in and have it activate because we're rude. Sure. If that makes sense. And I would like mm -hmm, to do mm -hmm. an arcana check with Raymond to see if there's, like, the mode is, like, some sort of magical ritual that's going to make it eat us okay. or something. 
13 survival. Um, you don't see anything in the water itself that looks like a trap or anything like that. It just looks like a perfectly clear pool of water, which is weird because the rest of the water is salt water that's in the general. Every other puddle, every other pool you've seen, it's not perfectly clear. This one... Salt water can perfect. be clear. I know, but this one is not. Racist. That's what I'm saying. 19. For your religion check. Yep. So, from what little you know of the Titana Turtle... Uh, they are. There's not anything like religious about them. They were magical creatures. Like they were insanely powerful magical creatures. Obviously, because it fucking lugged around a giant castle on its back. But it wasn't really religious based. It was, you know, just a fortress on the back of a giant turtle monster. But there's no customs to like to get in or, no. or ask for permission to enter it or anything mm. or enter the city or the castle or anything like I that. I mean, unless it was like a Draco turtle, no, I would say that no. This turtle's pretty fucking dead. That's it's probably slithering. not gonna. It's probably not gonna pop back up. Mm -hmm. I agree. So yeah, that's what you notice. Did somebody else roll something? I I concur. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's what you notice. Now this pool of water is about uh, two feet wide. Moat, I should say. Can I dip my finger into it? Oh, that's yeah. A bad idea. Anything happen? Uh, you can't pull your finger out. Mm. Which finger of which hand did you use? My pinky on my right hand. Sure. So your pinky on your right hand mm. is currently stuck. It feels like something's pulling or has a hold of you. Mm. Guess we're gonna have to cut it off. Yeah, we might have to. Let's 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 not let's keep that on the chopping block for right now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, can I have my can I have my pinky back, please? Um, roll a strength check because it feels like it's now actively trying to pull you into the water. That's a four. Uh, okay. Uh, you are pulled completely into the water. Uh, can I Dex try to grab his feet? Oh boy. Yeah. I can't see what's going on, but Bessie's jerking me around. No. <laughs> okay. So he's in the water currently. He's completely submerged, and he's flailing around, but he... I'm assuming you're flailing around? Probably not. Okay, you're just holding perfectly still under <laughs> underwater. So yeah, so you're underwater right now. Okay. What's everybody else doing? Do I still feel like the grip of... Uh... feels like something is encircled around you, almost like a snake or something like that. Give me that. Like, I want to keep trying to grab a leg and... Give me yank. I wouldn't put your hands in there. I just, I don't want to put my hands in. He's completely submerged. Yeah. Oh, I'm not touching that shit. Good luck. <laughs> Does it, Raymond, do you have a rope? We were in prison. You didn't have a rope in your pocket? Prison rope? Raymond, a simple no will Wait. do if you don't have a rope. Well, I, I kind of. We don't have time. We, yes or no? We Here. kind of do have a rope if we disembowel Callum. What if we just take my shirt? I don't need the sleeve anyway. You can pull the guts Tech out. Cast make a dispel rope. magic on the water. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> and I take my shirt off, <laughs> which is hard with only one hand. Yeah. And it's dark. It's easy. So you cast dispel magic, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> Nothing happens. Oh. Well, fuck. Good idea. Pull those guts out, Raymond. I got my shirt off. He starts. He starts de-gutting Callum. I, I he turns it into a lasso as quick as he can. I hand my shirt to Besame to lower to Willie. Okay. Can I? Do I have movement in here? Yeah, you can move. Okay. It just feels like something's coiled around you. Hmm. His arm, coiled around his arm, or like entirely his whole body at okay. this point. Instead of uh, y dipping the shirt directly in, I'm going to use the entrails that Raymond pulls. Right? Okay. And tie the shirt around it so that it's like a cross grip. So okay. that it's not just my hands are just slipping on intestines. Okay. You know, I have sure. a strong cotton sure. grip. Gotcha. Mm hmm And you like twist it together to Sure. Yeah. So you toss it in and you lasso let's say Willie's leg. Unless you want to lasso it around his neck, but I'm gonna say probably yeah. leg. <laughs> leg. Alright. Strength. Hook his leg. If there's more than one of you pulling, you have advantage. Yes. I'm holding the tail. <laughs> Is there oxygen down here in this no. water? <laughs> I, 
Uh, you were going to well, start to... I roll yes, a three but and also a two. Roll, roll con save to make sure you don't I start. I seven. And what did Heck roll? Shit. Well, advantage. She gave him advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I rolled a three and a two. Oh, sorry, so, so, seven. so you're pulling, but just like, whatever it is, it's got a... It's got a hold on Willie. 16. Uh, Willie, you're still managing to hold your breath. May so. I pull now? Yes, you okay. may pull now. <laughs> I'll help and give her or them Man. advantage. Did it. 16. I, got, I, I did it myself. <laughs> uh, you, oh, wait. Advantage? You, sure. Still a 16. You yank Willie out of the water uh, quickly, and you notice that as he leaves the water, there are these like little water looking tentacles that are out and then all of a sudden this snake like creature that is made of nothing but water pops up out of the water with these little tendrils what's going on I caused a demon to snake <laughs> demon <laughs> you can roll a nature check to try and figure out what this is because if you know critical it 20 18 well I'm sorry not dirty 20 dirty 21. 21. It is a water weird. So this is a water elemental, basically. And you can kill it the normal way, but the easiest way to kill it is if it leaves the water to which it is bound, it is destroyed. Or if the water that it's currently in is destroyed, it dies. So if you can manage to get it out of the water or destroy the water that it's in, it dies. I taunt it with my flesh. Okay. Show him to goatsy. Mm -hmm. I, I flash those eddies at him. Roll initiative. Mm, jiggle, 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 jiggle. That's 20. 16. 13. 5. And do one more for all Raymond. I did. All right. So first up will be Bessie May. I commence the jiggling. <laughs> so you... And I squeeze just gently so just a little bit of milk comes out. <laughs> okay. Get it nice and glistening in the, in the low light of the cavern. Okay. Come get it, big boy. Okay. Does he come get? Does he it's come not get his it? Turn yet? <laughs> does it look fixated at him? Does he no? look like he's gonna come get it? Uh, if you are closest to it, then yes, it looks like it's gonna I, come get it. I ready in action as soon as he lunges. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna disengage and run as far away as possible. Okay. Mm. Good to know. Uh, then it will be Ned. Can't uh, see shit. You just hear splashing. <laughs> what's going on? Water snake. Water snake. Can, can I leap over it? Uh, it's an elemental. I wouldn't. Unless you want the good, sweet grip of death. <laughs> he might. And a belly full of water. <laughs> can I summon Hopper, dude? No. No. Hmm. I'm going to try and tantalize it with my male mammaries. You already did that. I, I, he's say, I'm saying it to he's Ned in character, voice and head. <laughs> Uh, uh, I guess I'm going to try to dodge. <laughs> okay. Should I shoot it? You don't have a gun. Fuck. You guys have whatever you have, have a, when you left the prison. I have a fist. I'm going to ready the dodge action and ready to try to punch if I hear it come near Besame. <laughs> okay. The uh, fist is the bullet of the arm. Heck. My, my student. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... Fuck. Uh, I'm going to cast Fireball at the water. Okay. Boil him. Mash him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do for this? What happens? It's like a 30-foot radius? 60 foot? It's say, a 20-foot radius. So you're just, I'm assuming you're going to cast it so that it's not going to hit you guys, but still hits the water? Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Toward hey, the elemental thingy guys. in the water. Okay. Uh, roll damage, I guess. Yeah, I think it deck saves for half. Deck saves. Yeah, it doesn't. Yes. I rolled. Sweet. I gotta so really stop rolling this dice. Uh, uh, oh shit! Eight d six. God damn. You can keep it. No. I don't know if I have that many dice. Yeah. Just the beginning of a trap dungeon. Maybe. Yeah. This is the entryway to the trap dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta get over the moat to get away. <gasps> I just wanted to taste that water. It looks so elementally pure. <laughs> That's what I was going to do, dip a pinky and then try it. Imagine 20... if them snakes got inside my tummy. <laughs> it's a very big snake, so. 
24 damage. Okay, so you set it off. It does hit the, the water weird, and it also looks like it evaporates the water in the nearby vicinity. Um, now, since it clears out the water that's right there, it's a circular moat, so the rest of it sort of rushes in after it, but um, it does seem to be more now defensive because the water pool went from being a foot deep to being about, like, four inches deep. I have a question. Yes. Did that illuminate the, the room a lot? Yes, it did. Can I try to remember where stuff is? Um, and also, is anything on fire that's that I can... That's you know, I'm yeah. looking at it right now. Yeah. Yeah, did I catch anything on fire with that? Yes. So it looks like there was uh, some random pieces of wood that had fallen around. There's also some uh, moss and seaweed that are dried. So, yeah, there are random little fires all over the place now that, yes, you can now see in the dark. Well, it's not dark anymore. So, yeah, you can see. There's a big water snake, Ned! Holy shit. I let go of Besame's tail. Uh, Give him a slap on the butt. Then it'll be Raymond. Ugh! Raymond is going to try and spear tackle the water elemental. Raymond, no. Uh, Raymond just hits the water elemental and falls down. In, in, uh, yeah. Does not. The future's uh, not sending their best, are they, Ned? <laughs> yeah, just nothing doing. That's tries. Only, tries his damnedest. The best of the survivors. <laughs> I guess luck was a factor. Yeah. Uh, Water Snake is up next and uh, wraps itself around Raymond and then attempts to (laughs) drown Raymond in four inches of water. (laughs) Uh, It it does wrap around Raymond and forces it into the water and you just hear him him, (laughs) Well, Raymond, I guess I'll jiggle my tits for another round since you ruined my dance. (laughs) Raymond does hate dancing. He does. Yeah. Uh, then it will be Willie. Girls make him scared. <laughs> they sent back incels from the future. It's the only ones immune to the turkey pox. <laughs> Women were the carriers. <laughs> <laughs> Willie. How wide is this moat? What did I say? Two feet? Uh, you said four inches of water. It was what Raymond was getting drowned in. No, no, no. Like, well, he's talking about the width. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, two feet. Yeah, yeah, like two feet. All right, so I'm going to step over to the other side. <laughs> okay, you do. <laughs> Just step right over. Um, what's what's the ground like over here? It's, well, now it's scorched sand. It's kind of glassy, actually. I'm going to just start kicking in some of that sandy soil mm-hmm. and try to like hit the edge of the the moat? Are you trying to build like a dam? Yeah, I'm going to try to start filling it in a little bit. Okay. Uh, Roll me in athletics to see how much of this dam you build. (laughs) Critical 20. You build like a mini Hoover dam on the one side. Uh, You've even packed it and cured it with the the glass and uh, you even put little energy towers there as well. So there is no water from one side going in to uh, where the water weird is. My best friend is drowning and you're building a fucking (laughs) sandcastle. Yeah, that's what it appears like. Uh, so then, Wait, it w- what do you mean, best friend? <laughs> what? What? What do you? What do you mean, best friend? Water weird. Do your work. <laughs> it can oh, be only. We've one. had some times together. Are we just coworkers? I grew up with that guy. Okay, why? Well, We're not just know? coworkers, but like you can have multiple best friends. That's not true. Is that true? Yeah. Why? I ain't got friends. Friends. I got friends in. Low places right now because well, he's about face down in the inches. water. <laughs> yeah, no, I see that. Uh, then it will be. So is all the water on one side, and the rest of the like the moat is empty? So basically. Oh no, because yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. there's still another it's end that's open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you did both sides, he would just be in a little puddle. So if you got that water out, then. Yeah. Okay. So. Do you have a straw? <laughs> <laughs> or a bottle. We could just put him in a bottle. If you have a bottle. Uh, so then it will be... It's a pirate cave. It's Bessie May. Be bottle. <laughs> he, can cl- he can swim with Bessie May's your uddies. Since an idiot fed himself to the elemental, I'll continue my Star Trek, the undiscovered country-esque the jiggle dance. Roll a charisma check to try and entice 
You should dress up as a as a opposite gender uh, elemental and then trick it with your sexuality. <laughs> uh, do I get advantage because I'm in the nude? No. Why not? He's current. Well, the water el- water weird is currently drowning somebody, which is what they want to do. So <laughs> you have to entice them away from doing what they want to do. Three. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just Blah. you just you sort of glob around, but nothing. <laughs> nothing doing with your weird jiggle dance. Um, I will. I will also ready in action to slap any tentacles away that happen to make their way towards me. Okay, uh, then it'll be Ned. I'm saving my buddy. Okay, how are you doing that? I'm grabbing his ankles and pulling. Okay, strength. I can't do it dexterously. No. I got a f- six. Uh, no, you pull with all your might, but he just keeps on kicking and. No. The water weird has quite a hold on him. Can't go out like that. So you can't then, drown in six seconds, can you? Heck. Man, I'm getting real tapped out here. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to try and pull him out. We can just fill this hole up real good. <laughs> You're like, this is yeah, exactly the you Mississippi. Keep, <laughs> you keep filling it up, and I'll do something. Um, I'm going to try and pull... Let's go Robin what's Hood. his name? Raymond out. Okay. Strength. I said 21. Two? You 22. 19 yank plus it. 3 is 22, right? You yank it from the clutches of the water weird <laughs> to which it... <laughs> to which it wields up. And it's just like... Rah. Looks pissed. Ned's just standing there. But Bessie May's <laughs> doing its wibble wobble dance, so maybe it'll be more interested in Bessie blah, 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 blah. I mean, Ned's closest right now. Boop it on the it's nose true. and tell it it's a bad boy. It's true. You're naughty. You're a naughty little boy. Raymond's up. Hey, he get, he gets up, dusts himself off, and then immediately tries to spear tackle it again. Raymond, no. <laughs> it's going to work, I promise. Did he hit his can head, I, Ned? Can I just grab him? Can I just grab him? So... His spear tackle actually works, and he gets momentum, and he hits the water weird, because uh, he rolled better for strength anyways. And it actually pushes the water weird out of the water and onto the sandy beach of the other side, to which it starts to, like, st- not smoke, but sort of steam and hiss Too and young cry and whatnot. I spit on it. No, you're just rehydrating it. And currently, uh, Raymond is holding it down, so then it's... The water weird's turn, which is going to try to desperately get out of there. Raymond is doing his dangdest, but uh, the water weird gets out of his clutches. It is made of water. And gets back to the, um, what well, looks like it's made out of water. I don't think it can, like, disperse itself perfectly in water. It's not like the Terminator. It has, like, a form. It's just made of water. Um, so, yeah, it's back in that little teeny tiny pool of its that it, that it has, and it looks pissed. So as the water weird goes back to the little puddle, that's where we're going to take a break. Hello, listeners. It is I, Dennis, the world's most okayest DM, here with another advertisement for patreon.com slash botched podcast. Now, as always, you can subscribe for as little or as much as you want. You know, in case you just wanted to give us the tip, in which case we'd read your name at the end of the show, and that's about it. Or if you wanted to go all the way to God King status for $100 a month, whatever you want to do, that's cool with us. But if you're curious about the bi-weekly episodes that we release each month as a bonus to patrons, which is $5 a month, by the way, this month's bonus episodes are Drunk Girl Adventures. And if you're not familiar, we play a bunch of drunk girls in San Francisco who do drunk girl stuff. Who's the quest giver? Usually somebody crying in a bathroom, because as everybody knows, drunk girls help anybody they find crying in a bathroom. It's just science, okay? So here's a clip from the episode where drunk girls try and save Christmas. Did I let the Alpine play? As I was pumping new shit by, by a W.A. W-A. It went gangster, gangster, gangster at the top of the list. Then I played the new shit, it went something like this. Cruising down the street in my slate's four. Jogging the bitches, slapping the hoes. I went to the park to get the scoop. Uncle Ed's out there cold shooting some hoops. The car pulls up, who can it be? That's why Shelby need to roll a kilo G. He rolls throws down his window when he starts to say. It's all about making that GTA. Cause the boys in the hood are always hard Come talking that trash and we'll pull your car Don't want nothing in life but to be legit Don't quote me, boy, I ain't said shit
I love sea shanties. Did Does he hear us singing? Is what we sing boys while we try hood. to catch up to them. Yeah. What? Do, we try to sing that as we catch up to them. Do they hear us singing boys in the hood? By a dynamite hack. The dynamite hack cover. They are so they are also singing at the same time, so they do not. Hear are they singing dynamite cover. hack? No, they're Shh. singing something else. Fantastic. As I said, you can find the rest of this, as well as all the other thousands of hours of content we have, as well as all the other levels we have, you can find them over at patreon.com slash botched podcast. All right, back to the show. And we're back. So, Willie, the builder of dams, it's your turn. I'm just going to, like, Cotton Eye Joe around this entire <laughs> river. Okay. The entire river? Well, the moat, right? Yeah, the, the so the whole way around the turtle. The long way or the short way? It's a circle. A yeah, big so circle. Like, <laughs> if we're here, turtle's in the center, and you build your little moat here, you going this way or you going this way? <laughs> the long way, <laughs> you motherfucker. It'll take you a few hours to probably do that. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, then I'll go the short way. <laughs> when I say gargantuan turtle, I mean it is a really big fucking turtle. Like, um... I mean, can't we just grab... Well, can't we just run? Can't you we could, just, you run could just run past run, it as run well. Past it. Yeah, you could like, do so that the, So this, this gargantuan turtle, like, is it... Uh, can you fit a small village on its back? It's a city. It has a literally city on its a city. Back. Yeah, literally a city like on its back. Doctor Who. Uh, small city. So it's like a big London. castle. It's like a big castle. Space whale it. London. Kind of yeah. Not Smaller that. Not that. quite that big. Yeah. Small city. Harrisburg. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's pretty big. No, not Harrisburg. I, I would say it's not a city. I'll say it's it's a it's a very large castle. It's Hanover. Hanover Square. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bigger than that. But yeah, it's a very large castle on the back of this okay. dead turtle. Big ass turtle. Yeah. Willie, if you can create another dam on the other side of this thing. You can trap it. Well, that's you can what trap I, it in a smaller puddle. That's what I wanted to They're do. Right. And everyone was just like, oh, I got drowning friends and you're listening to some some country music that don't even make no little spaghetti sense and I just now I'm self-conscious about what I'm doing and I kind of just want to run full first without looking into the city I'm sorry are you hearing music uh yeah uh, constantly and right now it's country and western kind of it's like this weird uh rednecks kind of music okay hey, but it's got a 4-4 beat is <laughs> Is my is my hand clicking the beat, uh, snapping? No, Delivery? your hand is dead in my pocket. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just trying to gauge how uh, well you are. I'm fine. Yes, yes, okay. I left all my head medication with chickens. <laughs> them spiders are getting big. They're get, I can feel them <laughs> planting new eggs. They're moving around. Oh boy, moving so and shaking. What those pills did was it used to smooth my brain out. And so the, the spiders couldn't hide their eggs inside all the wrinkles, but now the wrinkles are back. <laughs> well, and since the wrinkles since, allow you to see the shadow people, right? <laughs> well, that's when they plant. Yeah, it, yeah. it's about the oblongula non tentatus. Because they sure. have, their fingers are are spiders, and they're reaching into your brain. Well, that's not really how hat people or shadow men work, but that's sure. fine. So, since you're feeling a little weird, roll me a perception check, Willie. I'm not feeling weird. This is my normal. Mineral roll one anyways. Twelve. You notice, as you're moving around, however it is that you're moving around. At a 4-4 four, four beat. That each of your compatriots, except for Raymond, has a tattoo on uh, at least one side of their neck. Looks like a hand. Like a very gnarled, almost demonic hand. Oh, that's not good. And it's each one has the exact same tattoo now that you've never seen before. On their neck? On their neck. The side of their, like the back side of their neck. They're never going to get a job. But the hand, <laughs> like the fingers, are pointing towards the front of the person. You just notice that. Besame! Yeah! Take that head out. Take Callum's head out. Let me look at it's, it. It's literally hanging from my belt. <laughs> Does it got a tattoo on its neck and pointing to its face? Nope. Callum? I look. I look. Nope. Callum and Raymond, neither one of them. Do have. I? Yes, you do. Look, Bessie May, do I? Uh, yeah. So do you. Cool. And so does everyone else, even the, even heck? We, we got prison tats. I don't think so. These just showed up. 
Nah, I think they gave them to us while we were sleeping in prison. Uh, that's you. We were there for. We had like a, a <laughs> thirty-six hour stint in prison. Yeah, yeah. I think we're out of At conversation time. At the very least, I would have noticed while we were asleep. <laughs> what are you doing, Willie? <laughs> I'm going to the other side and damning it off so that we can roll make athletics. Short, okay. Do a cartwheel <laughs> to get through. It's a critical twenty. That's you nice. roll another Hoover on the <laughs> other side, uh, so there's no more water these, going into where the water weird is. Two, what are these dice? Two men. They're gonna fuck me in the end. I know oh, they yeah. are. These mm-hmm. Norse foundry dice. Yeah. So two crit twenties on damn making. No, yeah. so uh, I'm gonna need an athletic save to like not die <laughs> to walk upstairs. <laughs> Four. Bessie May, you are up. Currently, uh, there's a water weird with a very tiny puddle that it's currently situated in, and two dams on either side of it. If you had to guess, you're probably gonna guess that when it gets back to its turn, it'll probably break the dams. What do you mean it'll break my dams? Uh, just tail swipe it. What do you mean? Why would it not? Put a lot of time into it. It's where the water is. <laughs> Put a lot of time and effort into it. I them. understand you did. They were great Building dams. Castles. You would have, you would have won the county award for castles. dams. I would have just, gosh darn, uh, went up to uh, uh, up to the city if I knew that all my hard work was just going to be flushed away. What? Yeah, I said if it gets back around to the water where it's turned, yeah. Really makes you think about your job. Or... Mm-hmm. kind of feel pointless. Mm. I'm going to start listening to the spider brain, the brain spiders. Just gonna do it. I'm gonna go position myself between the water weird and one of the dams. Okay. And if it tries to fuck with that dam, I'm gonna slap the shit out of it. Oh my god, okay. is this what it feels like to have a best friend? Jean Claude, fuck dam. Okay, you do. You position <laughs> yourself name. between it and a dam. Uh, Ned. I'm gonna do the same thing as my sensei, but on the other side. Okay. And ready my punching. Okay. A magical punching that was taught to me by my cow man. Okay. You ready? Uh, cow master. Heck. About how large is this Booster. puddle? It's like six inches around. Like a six inch circle, four inches deep. It's a very tiny puddle. Can you disintegrate and water? And how close are these guys to this puddle? Right Those two? They're, they're literally yeah. like a f- couple feet on either side of the water weird. On either side. There are a couple they're feet on either side. They're on both sides of the water weird. Yeah, yeah, but I needed the, to know that they're a couple feet. So I'm going to cast Bonfire um, with just the just the edge poking into that puddle. Like, covering okay. the puddle, but not hitting the boys. Bonfire, okay. Smart. Yeah. All right, so you, you do that. You cast it, and a big bonfire lights up, I'm assuming. That's how that spell works. Y- just a magical yeah. bonfire appears. It's Yeah, and the, the thing, if it's in that space takes a or does a deck save okay it does not so uh the bonfire goes off all the water in that spot is evaporated immediately and the water weird freaks out because it's it's also stuck in the fire and immediately just starts to steam away uh before it can even move to to move anywhere essentially to go back towards the water on both sides it's just it just dissipates into steam and you notice that the water that's the the pool that's around the uh, the Titanic turtle just sort of into the ground and disappears. That's right. Get nice fucked. fucking job. Goat team. Goat team. Goat team. Goat team. Titanic turtle. Ah. <laughs> so yeah. Whew. Are you entering this magical nah. dead creature skeleton? Fucking right. Can I? Bundle up a bunch of the uh, uh, shit. I'm You're not. Hand. Yeah, you can't bundle anything. <laughs> Can I ask Ned to bundle up a bunch of the seaweed so that we have like a torch? Is there a piece of wood nearby? Yeah, there's there's like random pieces of wood and stuff like that. Go do it, Ned. Or uh, anybody shit, can. I'm <laughs> Raymond. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. And he makes up a couple of torches, in fact, of uh, seaweed and whatnot. It's like, I, uh, I guess I'll just stick them in this bonfire and light them, and then, then we have torches? Yeah, or, or like one at a time, and then we have the other ones. Ah, yeah. good point, yeah. yeah. All right, so he just lights the one torch, and now he has a torch. You hold that, because I only have one hand. All right. Well, I mean, you can still hold a torch with one hand. I yeah, bet but... they got electricity inside this city. Sure. So, what are you doing? Let's go. Okay. So you move... Ha- Oh, yeah. okay. well, yeah. mm-hmm. I was just gonna say Heck mm-hmm. is gonna survey around and see if they see any way to get out right now. Okay. 
Uh, roll perception. Ooh, and can we like circle around the turtle to see if there's any cool stuff? Maybe sure. there's some treasure. Yeah. Magical shit. 17. Uh, so you look around. It looks like this cavern is completely enclosed. Uh, it is rock and stone, like a dome almost over this turtle. Almost like mm-hmm. uh, it, it's definitely not naturally occurring. Like you don't think that this titanic turtle got stuck in this cave. You feel like somebody put it here. Stone dome. Or something like that. So it's hidden away or something. You just get some some feeling that, you know. There's like skeletons that are... Uh, you don't see any skeletons enthralled outside. Enthralled to keep it shut, though, it looks like, from upstairs. It does look, yeah. So apparently yeah. there are skeletons to keep the way shut up, up top. Uh, but you don't see any skeletons in here. There is nothing else. There is some driftwood and some seaweed and some puddles of water, but there's nothing else in this cave around this magical turtle skeleton. Huh. Fuck it, let's go. I'm gonna take two pocketfuls of sand. Okay. Ooh. Smart. All right, pocket sand. Because, um... <clears throat> you never know when you need to blind somebody. Well, not only fight. that, but <clears throat> I want to kind of leave a little bit... Well... We need to find a way to mark where, where we're going. Gotcha. Ooh. That's wicked smart. I'm doing that, too. But also, you're right. I could throw it in people's eyes and be yeah. like, pocket sand. <laughs> pocket sand. I was imagining that I would I would do that in a like kind of like a, some sort of blood sport fight. But, yeah, using it as like a marker is smart. Hmm. Buenos dias. Okay. So, you guys... Echote move into the skeleton of the uh, Titana turtle and you can see that the since you're now in what used to be the actual Titana turtle you can see the corner of the foundation of this castle has sort of crumbled away and there's a hole uh, with some rubble that's leading down to the ground so it looks like you can just probably climb right up inside let's get ready to rubble okay up that esophagus or whatever it is. Okay. So you climb up inside this rubble. This turtle's got teeth? Yeah, they... Oh, can we get the teeth? Oh, my God. Yeah, you can get it. Does it have teeth? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a maw of teeth. Turtles don't have teeth. This, this one, one does. does. Also, dragon turtles in D&D definitely have teeth. Okay. That's a dragon turtle. Get those teeth. They're probably magical. Oh, my God, we need them. I've only said the word magical turtle about 8,000 times. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting te- getting those teeth. All right. So, yeah. So, you can go out around to the front of the Titanic turtle because the head is resting on the sand. And uh, you can pluck out teeth. How many teeth would you like to pluck out? I don't know how big they're, are they. They're very large. They're like, um, have you seen pictures of the, uh, uh, what Megalodon. the hell is Megalodon. Like Megalodon teeth? That's They're that big. Yeah, they're big. I'm going to take two of them. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to let Ned go first. They're like spades almost. Now, there, there's actually rows of teeth, and some of the teeth are smaller, but even the smallest tooth is like the size of uh, like a big-ass great white shark's teeth. Like oh, nothing wow. is small. This thing probably uh, would have fucked you up back in the day. I want to uh, get one that's big okay. and use my shirt to tie it to my stump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Punching blade. And then I want to find the biggest one and wear it as a backpack. It's not that big, but I mean, a tiny wear backpack. it as a loincloth. Okay. Like a... like a. Take one from the smaller row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you just take another tooth. over my ass. There are, there are hundreds of teeth, so yeah. yeah. Are like they four. sharp? Oh, yeah, they're sharp. And they're... looks like they're serrated almost. I take three. Uh, what size teeth would you like? Big or I would like, smaller? Small I would is like, still fairly big. But. I would like teeth <laughs> that are the size of of really cool throwing stars. Ugh. So small ones. I the mean, big ones are like spades, like a shovel. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I want them like the size of a fist. Okay, so yeah, the small rows. Yeah. So I got two big ones. You got three small ones. And a, and a medium-sized one on my stump. Okay. Anybody else collecting anything from this turtle? Yeah, I'll take two large. Okay. Heck, you want some teeth? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting teeth, heck. I I do sort of really want some teeth, yes. Come, come get some teeth. Come get in on this teeth action. 
Heck Raven. is gonna yeah. take three. Wait, does it you, have? You want teeth? I mean, I, I guess. Come get teeth, dude. There's like, there's like a hundred teeth. All right. I mean, I could probably tie one of these to a stick. But then I have like yeah. a weapon. So he, he collects a couple of big teeth and some small teeth, and he puts the small teeth in his pocket, and he uh, wraps a big tooth to the end of a stick that he finds, or plank, or, you know, piece of wood. So now he has, like, a little spear. Uh, if I, if I um, walk into the to the mouth, is there, like, a, a brainstem bone or anything? A brainstem bone? I don't know, like... There's a spinal column? Like the top of it? Boops out? Sure. I want to snap that off. Okay, you can snap off a piece of bone. Pretty brittle. I'm going to take it with me. Okay. Piece of piece of spine bone. Sweet. Turtle spine bone. Got it. Okay. I feel safe now. All right, you have it. Are you going in now? Yeah. Okay. So you go in. This, uh, the, the torch lights everything up, plus those with, with the... Uh, Dark fish you can see just fine. You notice that this is a l- very, very large rectangular uh, room that you're in right now. And you notice that there are, they kind of look like, they're, they're coffers, essentially. They kind of look like coffins, but they're coffers. Uh, this looks like at some point it was probably some sort of treasure room. Uh, Fuck these teeth. And there's a there's just a whole, there, it looks like it's been picked pretty clean, but yeah. that's just from a just a glance in this room, so anything else you guys want to do. You also see at the very back, there are two sets of staircases, but the one set uh, looks like there's a whole bunch of rubble and, like, debris that are in it, so it's, like, collapsed almost. The other one is open. Search the fuck out of this treasure room. Roll investigation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <coughs> I am oh. not. Okay. I, what a, I botch! <laughs> Alright. What a skill to have double proficiency in as a skulker rogue. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. 19. I, I just, I, I don't feel great about, <clears throat> well, all right, let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, Ned, the only thing you spot um, as you search all over this place, you notice that there is a, there is one large gold chest. It, it almost looks, it, it almost looks like an Iron Maiden, but it's made out of Gold Ooh. and it's it's got a much more friendly look to it than an Iron Maiden. Mm. Very regal looking. It's got crusted gems and uh, it's very ornate uh, with different runes carved in and everything. You notice that there's that and it does have like um, almost like a, a shelf handle. What do you mean? Along the bottom, like um, so it looks like this thing is sectioned out. So it looks like an Iron Maiden, mm-hmm. but it has like uh, shelves. It looks like, but it. They could be different sections. Sure. Yeah, like it's sectioned off okay. up to about the midsection of this uh, this thing. So at some point, you know, I guess they built this thing to look like kind of like a person, but it's basically, you know, hmm. like an armoire okay. of some sort. Um, meanwhile, heck, you are sort of moving around the room, and your hand presses in on a secret compartment <sighs> and a door slides open. The uh, the uh, stone door just <laughs> slides over. And you notice that there is a cache in there that has not been touched. Ooh. You notice that there is a wand sitting on like a very nice um, sort of little pedestal. Like on a pillow? No, it's like, a, it's like two little prongs of wood holding this. And it's got like a curvature in the middle, so it's mm-hmm. just holding up this wand. Mm-hmm. And the wand is this very dark, ornate wood, but the crystal itself has almost, there's like a crystal on the end that's pointed, and it has almost like a rainbow color. Every time you look at it, from like whatever angle, it's like a totally different or random color. There's also a bag of 15 gems, it looks like, and uh, another bag of about a thousand gold. It's pretty heavy. Oh, damn. Yeah. Y'all ain't worried that all this stuff is cursed? That's the only thing you guys notice in this room. Other than everything being open and empty. Can I also... Well, <clears throat> you don't worry about that being cursed? It's just treasure, man. If it was cursed, why would they keep it in the treasure room? Idiot. At this they would keep point, it in the curse I, room. <laughs> at this point, I think we're all cursed. What'd you find? What'd you find, Besame? I found my friends. Where? 
I don't see here. him anywhere around here. <laughs> the belly of a turtle. <laughs> I investigate as well, then. I, uh, I point out the <clears throat> shelf gold maiden thing to Raymond to open up because I'm showing my stuff. Uh. Oh, um, all right. Goes over. Get him, man. Uh, grabs the the. He's like, does it matter? Like, do you? I don't know. I just saw it. Is it? What? It, and he gets like very close. He's like, well, I mean, like, what if it's like a trap or something? You know, like. Yeah. Be ready to spring back. And you notice that. So he turns to look at you, and he says this. And you notice that the top part of the maiden, um, two eyes flit open, oh, and then really it good. opens like a vertical Venus flytrap, and just, <laughs> onto uh, Raymond. Uh, fuck that. He's currently biting the absolute fuck a out of mimic. me. mimic. We haven't seen I know. A I've mimic. never put a mimic in a game before. Yeah. Uh, and as this thing bites the absolute it. fuck out of Raymond, that is what we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, Twitch, and Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, the OG Lone Ranger, Big Jim, the Knuckle Lord, Chronic Skinner, B-Mail, Shadow Panda, Disgruntled Furniture, Lost Limey, Scabby Goose, Sukari, Chris Wisdom, and Bread2287. If you want to support the show, you can do so all over the internet at freedomvalleyhorsepace.com, dickblood.me, dickblood.club, cornhub.icu, sexwithwookies.com, <laughs> pigrickets.com, mookmook.com, buythesebiagra.com, or louisianapocketgopher.com, <laughs> or simply patreon.com slash botchpodcast. Want to support us but can't do it financially? No worries. Head on over to whatever podcatcher you listen to us on. Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Leave us a five-star review. And Tristan will read it here on the show. Like our newest five-star. Thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. More of them <laughs> over at Gozer underscore music on all social media. Or simply on Spotify where their EP is now available. That's so good. Thank you to Emily Swan for album art. You can find her all over the internet at a swan named Emily. You want to send something to the studio? Do so at 3178 Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. 17325, and we will open it up on stream. No bombs, please. And as always, oh, we salute you. Big Big Jim. Jim. You are this episode's Lone Most Wanted. Most Wanted. Lone Most (laughs) Rangered. The Lonest Ranger. And as always, as your friend drowns next to you, (laughs) build a fucking sandcastle, because why not? And scream botched. We'll see you next week, nerds. Dribble castles. You can support each of us in our own little different ways. My first comic book has come out, and if you'd like to purchase it, you can head on over to www.hiveheadstudios.com, where you can even download a free sample of the book to see if it's something, you know, up your alley. Uh, you can also support me over at patreon.com slash hiveheadstudios. You can support Steve's stuff over at YouTube or TikTok or any of his other social media at he who is Steve. You can support Phil on Patreon or Twitch at Imaginary Nomad. You can support Jen by checking out her other podcasts like Horse Girls and all your podcatchers. You can also check her out on social media or Twitch at Jenna Chill, chill with one L. And you can check out Chonky every so often on Twitch at Chonky underscore Kong. They were literally like hippos that were racist English imperialists. (laughs) (laughs) But not anymore. Dandies. Oh, in 2019. You know, they don't like interesting characters anymore. It literally looks like the hippo version of Babar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good description, just actually. Pulling up the picture, I'm like, that just looks like Babar. <laughs> Since you're learning French, you could be Madeline. <clears throat> be a little French yes, now. the three French pig- phrases I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's got to start soir. somewhere. Bonsoir, mister. Bonsoir. <laughs> she speaks some sort of dead language. She must be from the past.